and block everything down. Um, so before I go through this, what happens, we take the CO2 out of your bottles over here, we use a pump in the back, and we compress the CO2 in the extractor uh, above uh, 1,000 PSI, where it's liquid or supercritical. That liquid or supercritical CO2 runs across all the plant material. It works as a solvent when it's a liquid. We then bring that CO2 over into our separators, where it's only two to 400 PSI. Their CO2 will flash back to the gas, and all your oil from your plant material will fall out into a collection cup. We then run it through one more to make sure we get all the oil out before we send it back to the pump. It sits there and does that for uh, eight to 10 hours. Then we put the CO2 back in the bottles. Um, luckily, if you don't have to do any of that, all you do is come over the screen and hit start. And it walks you through everything. So this is the inner target vector. So you come right over here, we're 1200 PSI. Here's your pick number of run hours. So we typically, on a 1500 PSI system, would run two to three hours per pound of plant material. So if this was full, it'd be about a 24 hour run. And then it reminds you to set your chiller set point. So here it controls the temperature. So the way CO2 works, it takes pressure and temperature um, to determine whether it's liquid, solid, or supercritical or gas. So you set your temperature over here on a 1500 PSI system that would be about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. It reminds you to check your separator bolts, make sure all this is locked down before it fills up the pressure. Then it reminds you to check your extractor, make sure it's completely sealed off. Then the only manual valve in the system <coughs> reminds you to close it. And then you would open your CO2 bottle, and when you acknowledge now, the system would take off. At this point, as long as everything's good, you'd walk away and come back in 10 hours or however long your runtime is. Um, internet capable. What? Oh, something new we've got. We now have internet capabilities. So if something goes wrong, here's the new internet modules that Jeremy's responsible for. So if during the run, it'll let you know when it's done. So you leave, if something happens in the middle of it, if your electricity dies, which is a big problem. So these systems require those large air compressors up there. And people try to put these in smaller buildings. So during the summertime, when everyone's running their ACs, you might get a burp in the electricity and your system dies. Well, if you've got a 24 hour runtime, you want to know if your system just died two hours in. So it'll send you a text message. Or if you get an Orcus fog. Got it. Got it. <laughs> um, or when it's done. So to let you know when it's done, you get a text message and you come back, you do it, and uh, continue on. Fairly simple. Like I said, at the very end of a run, it'll recover all the CO2. You'll have about 100 or 200 PSI left in the system, and it tells you exactly what to do. You'll open up valve 10, vent that air off, close your CO2 bottle, acknowledge, and then you're safe to get in here, suck out all your plant material, pull out your oil out of the cup, and then uh, get ready for your next run. Craig, how many? Uh Name the cities and states that you've been in the last two weeks. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Cruz, all over the Bay Area, all over Southern California, Oregon, Washington, uh, Rhode Island. Not in the last two weeks, but in the last like, couple months. Las Vegas, last <laughs> week. DC. Um, DC. Baltimore. Maine. <laughs> soon to be Florida. Um, soon to be a lot in Nevada. Yeah. All over Denver. Phoenix. Southwest does a bunch of man. Yeah. yeah, I just got my companion pass to Southwest, so anytime I travel, I get to take someone for free. Um, right, so the Bay Area right now, California is huge. The whole West Coast is, is, is exploding right now. I just looked, we have a board in the trailer out back with pins in it. And I honestly had no idea how many systems we had littered all over the West Coast. And then, of course, Denver. And then now it's uh, around Detroit and back east is starting to pick up really big. Um, uh, yeah, it's really interesting. It's um. Want to say something? Uh, no. Sure. Sorry. <laughs> no. Oh, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Steve White, Senator Portman. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> and I have a letter to present to you for congratulations on your expansion. Great, great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll read this real fast. This is uh, this is from Senator uh, Rob Portman's office. It says, uh, Dear Mr. Joseph, congratulations on the groundbreaking of the new Apex Supercritical Manufacturing Plant in Johnstown, Ohio. I applaud the dedication of you and your staff to the community and to the state of Ohio. Please accept my best wishes as you celebrate this milestone and keep in touch. So, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, 
Uh, anybody got any questions about anything? Who wants to buy a system?